Hey guys, welcome to the video. So the footage that you're about to see in just a second uh, has already taken place. Um, if you watched my last video um, where I sent my metal detector in for a warranty repair, um, this is uh, the first day that I've been out. I just got the metal detector back a couple of days ago and uh, I don't have the kids today. It's like 65 degrees out. Um, so I wanted to take the detector out and uh, test it out. So I've this. There's this little park here um, that I drive by every now and then that I uh, forget that it's there. But we went ahead and um, uh, did a little detecting here and found a few nice things. A couple of things uh, that I've never found before. So I wouldn't necessarily call them bucket listers, but some unique finds uh, for sure. So uh, happy about that. Um, I'm just wrapped up here though. I'm gonna head over to another park and uh, see if I can find any more stuff. So uh, enjoy what we find here, and then I'll just uh, uh, follow that up with our finds from uh, the next park that we go to. So stay tuned. Well guys, I am out metal detecting at a new park, and I just found my first find. The first one for me, I've never found one of these. It is a smashed penny, and this one's from the Mark Twain Cave from Hannibal, Missouri, it looks like. Smash Penny. First one for me. First find. Just a few feet away from where I was at, we got our next find. And I think I have a little coin spill here because I was getting multiple targets, but we've got a modern quarter here. And there's something else right around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for that now. Next find, and this is a day of firsts for me. We've got ourselves a thimble. It's not silver or anything. Well, that's definitely a smash thimble. First one of these I have ever found. So we're on a roll with first finds for today. And we are on our next find here. We were this far down into the hole. That's probably a good seven or eight inches. And we just pulled out. I'm a, in the clod here. It's got a green patina. I'm gonna guess it's older than a weedy. It's gotta be a penny. Maybe an Indian? Let's see here. I think it's an Indian. No, it's not, it's a weedy. Well, let's see if I can get a date off of here. I'm not doing a very good job with this camera work either. Hold on one second. Well, it looks like a 1920. I'll have to take a toothpick to it when we get home, but that's an old, whoop. That's an old weedy right there. All right. Now I gotta find it again. All right, here is where I just dug that 1920s wheat penny. And then I swung over here and we got a signal that's only a couple of inches down and it looked like a, it has some writing on it. It looks old, maybe a dog tag or something, but it kind of looks like a coin. Oh, wait, no, it's a nickel. Oh my goodness. It was ringing up 54, so it was a little higher than a nickel. Usually those ring up 50, 51, that is a 19, 1960, where is that a 19, is that a 6 or an 8, 1987, wah, 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 I'll take it though. All right, well here's where we dug that last nickel, I got an identical signal right here, and it looks like we're going to have another nickel here. That's a more modern one. All right, we'll take the clad. Well, I'm at this new park here, and this is my, well, I shouldn't say my first find. My first find were two zinc pennies that were on the top, but we just dug this up. It looks like a buckle of some sort. And if that's the case, and this is also a first for me. sure exactly what that is. Yeah, it looks like a buckle of some sort. Maybe off of a suspender or something, I don't know. If you guys have any idea, I'll have to clean that up a little bit more, but my initial thought is that's a, a buckle of some sort. Awesome. Guys, we are onto some good finds here. This must be an old home site here. I had to dig way down for this one. And we've got part of a spoon here.
probably copper. Looks like it's copper. But uh, half the handle's missing. I don't know if it's down in this hole here. But uh, we'll have to clean that up and get a better look at that when we get home. But that's cool. Spoon bowl. Lines are getting a little bit harder, but here is something a little different. It's a penny, but it's a Canadian penny in 1982. All right, well, it's been a few days since I was actually out metal detecting. Uh, if you watched my previous video about my metal detector, you know that I had to send it in. My Garrett AT Max uh, was acting up, so sent it in for repairs. Uh, they fixed it, sent it back real fast, and I was able to take advantage of a nice day that we had uh, this past weekend. Got out to a couple of parks, and uh, here are our finds. We'll start up here. Uh, just some of the larger iron pieces here that we found. Uh, looks like a hinge there, a large uh, nut of some sort, and then, uh, of course, a bunch of trash. So I won't be keeping these, but um, I just figured I'd show that anyway. you got to dig a lot of this stuff to get down to this stuff here. So let's take a look at this. We found seven pennies, and one of them was a Canadian. And this one here, I originally thought... It was an Indian head uh, when I first dug it, um, but it is a wheat penny. And it's really hard to tell because it's in bad shape, but I'm pretty sure it's a 1920. So pretty cool find, even though it's not in the greatest shape. Nice old coin there. And we found three nickels, three dimes, and four quarters. And then some of our relic pieces here. I believe this was our first find at that first park. We've got a smashed penny. Mark Twain Cave, and I believe it says Hannibal, Missouri. So I'm in Iowa here, so a little ways from uh, where it originated. And uh, this was my second find right after that one. And um, another first for me. We've got a smashed thimble there. Not silver, but a pretty neat little relic. And moving down here, we've got a partial bullet casing. Uh, this is pretty cool, it cleaned up nice. You can read what it says here. Peters 38, I'm guessing that's Smith & Wesson. I don't know a whole lot about guns, but that sounds about right. Find a lot of bullets and casings in parks. And moving on to this one, you guys will have to help me out. I am not sure exactly what this is. It's very small, flat on one end, and it's kind of crimped over on the other end there. Not sure what that would have been. But the AT Max picked that up. That was probably a good four or five inches down. And we'll move down here to this spoon bowl. It's just partial, missing part of the handle. I originally thought maybe it was copper, but then I cleaned it up. And I see it's got uh, some plating on it. so. Uh, maybe silver plated. There we go. I didn't see any design or anything on here, but there probably was on the other part of the handle. But this is what we dug out of the ground. And then my uh, the last thing here, probably my favorite, another first for me, a little buckle clip. Uh, perhaps that came off of uh, clothing, maybe suspenders or something. Um, but anyway, again, if you know what that is, let me know down in the comments. But that was pretty cool. Definitely an old home site. Uh, this was a park that doesn't have any homes on it. It's kind of a, uh, it's in the center of a residential area. Um, but, uh, and there's houses all the way around on the opposite side of the street. But um, I've been finding a lot of stuff like this um, along the roadside. Um, and so that leads me to believe that there are probably homes on the park side at one time as well, obviously. So, uh, but anyway, some really neat finds. Cool to find stuff like that. So, well, those were uh, the finds that we found. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in our next outing.